Hey everybody, welcome back. Matumbo here. We are playing some more Historic on Magic Arena, and I want to start this video off on a super amazing positive note. Let everybody know we have crossed a thousand subscribers finally, and I cannot thank you guys so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Try, I'll try to thank you guys as much as possible, and it just won't be enough because you, each and every one of you are amazing. <clears throat> so we've actually... At the uh, beginning of this recording, we are actually already over 1,100 because we just kind of blew up a little bit more overnight. Our video from yesterday did really well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to revisit a deck that a lot of people have been hitting me up on Twitter about. Um, and my video, this, this deck obviously was super popular. Um, at, as of right now, it's our most popular video that we've put out. Um, so we're going to make some changes to it. And we're going to revisit it and see if it's still just as powerful and still as fun it is as it is to play as it was to play back when we originally played it. But again, before we do that, please um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave a comment below. Uh, tell me what you think of the channel, what you think of the video. Just tell me what you think in general. Uh, I'd love to hear from every one of you uh, and hit that bell icon. And also do want to hit on, um, I did promise a giveaway at a thousand. Uh, I have ordered some items to give away. Um, they will be here hopefully in the next week. So once that happens, uh, I will post a standalone video uh, just letting you guys know what the giveaway items are. Um, and then we'll just, I'll probably just have you guys leave comments in order to enter the giveaway. And then we will have a follow up video a couple days after that. So stay tuned for that video. That video won't have any gameplay, um, but it is coming. I promise you that. So, um, all right, with that being said, let's hop into today's deck. We are renaming this deck since we made some changes. It is now called Haphazard Eruption. And of course, Haphazard being still building around Haphazard Bombardment because it is probably my favorite card out of Dominaria just because of the randomness factor and it being able to hit all kinds of permanents, obviously except for enchantments, still a lot of fun. For six mana, comes into play. Put four counters on four random permanents that are non-enchantments, and at the end of your turn, it's going to randomly kill one of those uh, permanents that have a counter on them until there is only one permanent that has one counter, and then it kind of stops. So, still really fun. So, uh, one of the new cards we've added um, is uh, Yadaro, or Godzilla Doom Inevitable. Since we are on this Luka plan, because Luka does have a minus two ability to exile creatures, and then... Just keep going through your deck until you hit a creature that costs more than the creature you exiled. Uh, we wanted to kind of change that and possibly hit a giant 8-8 haste trampler. So that's why we added these in. And also it gives us a way to cycle uh, to potentially draw other cards that we might want or need at the time. Uh, again, we're cheating with Luka with uh, Wily Goblins. We have dropped Wily Goblins down to three. Um, so that is one of the changes. Still playing four star of extinction, you know, the the end all be all of dealing 20 damage and killing a land. And we are still playing three Ulamogs. Uh, it's kind of crazy. So uh, one car that we were kind of going through and we kind of noticed that um, actually adds ramp is this card called the first eruption. So when it comes into play, it's actually going to deal one damage to each creature without flying. So this is going to be able to kill a lot of the mana dorks, a lot of just the small uh, one one. Um, you know decks that aggro decks are built around so i'm really really happy with this with just finding this and rediscovering this card uh, also on the following turn on chapter two we actually get two red mana so this is actually going to ramp us the following turn um i'm really excited to be able to drop this on turn three and then on turn four we just naturally have six mana and we can drop a haphazard bombardment and then just kind of get them especially if they have four land in play and we're just able to hit all four of their land and then just uh, kind of stall them out. So the, uh, the chapter three, sacrifice a mountain. If you sacrifice a mountain, it deals three damage. So it does have a backup uh, board clear at the bottom end of it. Um, you know, having to sacrifice a mountain to deal that three damage is not the end of the world. But um, again, we're mainly playing this for the ramp factor. So, and um, obviously uh, another way that we're cheating cards out is Iron Crag Feet. This is a card that the deck kind of relies upon when we hit four mana, we can essentially add seven red mana, and we can, but we can only cast one more spell this turn. So we're really just trying to hit like a Star of Extinction, uh, Haphazard Bombardment, uh, Godzilla, or if we happen to have uh, a couple extra mana, we can cast an Ulamog this way. So still pretty good. 
And uh, one other card that we decided to add was Karn. So Karn is a, just a good natural way to add land, uh, or not, I'm not sorry, not add land, but add a card draw, since uh, red kind of usually lacks in that area. So we're gonna be able to plus one to reveal the top two cards. Uh, our opponent gets to put one of those into our hand, and then the other one gets exiled with a silver counter on it. And then the next turn, if we if they don't give us a really awesome card that they exile, we can minus one and put a card we own with the silver counter from exile into our hand. So this is a really cool way of just drawing cards. Sometimes they are they're going to be faced with two options that they don't want to give either one of us to, but they're going to have to. Uh, and then sometimes you know it's very rare, but sometimes you might just hit the same card and they have to give you one of those. And but a lot of times you're just going to filter. You're just going to draw. Th you know this is going to force you to draw land. Um, and you're just gonna, we're gonna be able to keep hitting our land drops. And if we need to, we can minus two to create a, uh, a zero zero colorless uh, creature that gets plus one plus one for each artifact if we need to throw jump blockers and stuff like that. So uh, if you did notice, we did take out like Apex of Power. We took out, you know, we took out a few other cards. We added, we also added uh, Arch of Araska. Now I know with Blood Sun being able to, uh, we're gonna lose all of the mana abilities or all of the non-mana abilities, so this is not really going to combo with Arch of Araska, but this is kind of just like a, uh, a just-in-case, because, you know, we're playing monocolor. It's not really, really going to be detrimental to throw in a couple of extra uh, land that tap for colorless, because if we do have this in play with the City's Blessing, um, which is what Ascend does if we have 10 permanents or more, um, we're going to be able to pay 5 and tap this to draw a card. So it is, uh, it is pretty good. So I did, uh, I did kind of um, try building around the other Karn, the one that lets you go get artifacts out of your uh, sideboard. But in the end, I felt like Karn Scion of Urza was better than that Karn. So we are going to give this deck a try. Um, I did mention to some people um, that I'd replied to on Twitter that when we hit um, our thousand subscribers, we would revisit one of our, one of our favorite decks, uh, it being this one, and we would play a 10 game gauntlet so we're going to run this through 10 games we're just going to we're just going to see how many wins we can get in 10 um hopefully you know hopefully we get you know a lot more we we went undefeated with this deck the last time i believe so we're going to try to go 10 and 0 with this that's that's the dream and uh so let's hop into the gameplay and uh, again stay tuned until the wrap up to see how we did we'll talk about what we liked about this deck what we didn't like and uh yeah so let's just hop into the game guys and again thank you guys so much for a uh, thousand see you guys soon all right, super excited here. Revisiting our mono red deck. Um, let's see. We hit a blood sun. We're really good. <clears throat> yeah, if we if we rip a land, we are golden. Also, if we whip rip a uh, wily goblin, we're really good this next turn. That's I think ideally that's what we want to draw as a wily goblin. What is what is our opponent playing? And if we can't draw land in three turns, it's going to be kind of ridiculous. Wow. Really? So I know we could just play the Lotus Field, but we're not going to. We're actually just going to pitch one of the Blood Suns. There we go. It was definitely high risk there because, uh, but it was really high reward because we were still ahead next turn. So, and our opponent's not really doing anything. We're going to get this in play now while we can. And we're just going to go after his land, right? Do we go after Chandra's regulator? I think so. That's a card drop. 
And then we're going to go after his basic land types and his isolated chapel. He might have a way to kill this. Or he might have a way to scoop to it. So, awesome. 1 0. Oh. So, we're hopping into game two really quickly. Um, you know, with that, that game being so short with him not doing anything. So, really early on. I'm going to let you uh, know to hydrate. And that you should be doing that every day. And every day I'm going to remind you. So, Kahira. We have the potential. I'm going to keep this. Wily Goblin into... A land here would be really, really good. <clears throat> and him not doing anything. It's unfortunate. I really would have gotten rid of the Luca there, right? That was a good draw. Ooh, that was a really good draw, right? That was a really, really good draw. Like Kahira. Let's just end this game right now. Oh, okay. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what we've done. Go, go, Godzilla! Godzilla is really easy for Esper Dex to remove, so I'm not really... Okay. I was not expecting Godzilla to stay in play. Surprised he's not playing like Raska's Contempts or even wanted to try digging for one. Huh? I've had two really quick games so far. And again, we're wanting to highlight everything that our deck can do. Canales. This, uh, this has potential. We just need a land. We're going to keep. I think we always uh, keep a hand that has Blood Sun and Lotus Field in it. And then don't draw more land after that. It's kind of ridiculous. We're just going to go and do this now. There we go. There we go. Right, so... I wonder if he doesn't sack before this hits. That would get him really good, right? What a hit. Oh my god, he countered that? Wow. He must be doing something pretty crazy over there. He playing some kind of weird, like, wilderness reclamation deck. Playing like a weird blue green flash deck. Okay, we're gonna try it again, right? I mean, I guess that's good that we're essentially getting those out of the way for our better spells, but I'm really curious as to what this guy's playing where he feels the need to actually get rid of those. I think we're going to try to drop Luca here and do what you do. Okay. 
Okay. So he doesn't have anything else in his hand that can counter anything, I don't think. Oh, that's going after Luca. Then we go after. Why couldn't we draw a freaking land there? Why couldn't we draw a land? That's not the land that we wanted, by the way, game. But we're still not too concerned. We are pretty low, but again... That's going to be kind of hard to come back from, right? Um, actually... I don't know if I want to play this mountain. We don't need to play it right now. We'll see, we'll see what we draw next turn. not going to play. All right. <clears throat> not going to play a mountain. And we're going to start going after his land. I mean, he still has a pretty... He still has a pretty good shot here. We're going to go after all of his green. And of course, the one... The one island that we hit. No. Yep. This will do it. You will not see things. This game has come together quite nicely. I know we could have played Godzilla, but there's just, like, not really a need to. And just in case, we'll play it now. This is a blocker. And again, we did that just in case, because uh, it wasn't lethal this turn. Good game. Good sport. Good sport. That was a, that was a really fun game. I like it. And I'm still I'm still super stoked off of hitting a thousand yesterday. And uh and when we had started recording we were actually already over eleven 1 hundred. So our followers and subscribers, I mean, they're just like, you guys are just killing it. Just going up and up. Um, Umori, so. Probably a Noda deck. If we can draw another mountain, we're good. But, fortunately... We might be seeing Winota a little early here. Yep. Might be dead on turn three. Might be dead on turn three. Don't have Winota. Play, play Umori. Oh yeah, or that. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, 
That is perfect. Kaboom! And that's how you beat Winota. Make sure their mana's screwed, and then hit their mana, and then just be done with it. Send them on their way. Got three. All right, opponents going first. They're playing Yorian because why wouldn't they be? Let's get these uh, companions in play while we can without having to pay three mana to put them into our hand. So you're playing a Guildgate Temple deck. Your, your hand is all over the place. Swing in, I dare you. Could be really good against a Field of the, field of the Dead deck. All right, well, <clears throat> I think we risk it. All right, no attacks because there's no reason to. Now all your lands come into play on tap, buddy. So there is that. Right, so what do we get to do here? We get to I think we get to Karn. Ooh. Say I bet we're getting a uh, Wily Goblin. No attacks. Want a Wily Goblin right into that Grazer for no reason? Nice. This will not be that was a good hit. Uh, we really don't need Godzilla. Six mana to work with. And if we play a couple Wily Goblins now. I don't think we're going to. And I don't think we're going to play the first eruption. I think we are just going to hold off a turn. Kill, kill Karn. Karn, you've done your job. So, we're still going to go ahead and kill the Feel of the Dead, even though it doesn't do anything. Uh, we're going to kill it just because in case he... As a way to kill our blood son. That was a really good draw right into uh, right into an open board. I love the art on this card. Uh, as the kid would, the kids would say, "Lol." Not 
Sure. So I believe we are going to just get right back in there. Put you down to five. Looks like that is probably game. Uh, he could he could have a wrath. I don't know. He does not. There we go. Good game. Good game. Good game. So I think that puts us at five and zero. Oh. Pretty sure we won five. It's either four or five. These games are so short. So, Tiastra. All right, we're going first. This is man, not a hand we want to keep. I mean, this does let us ramp a little bit. And I mean, we definitely will kill mana dorks. We're not here to let you ramp. We're here to let us ramp. I would really like to see him play a land and then another creature of some kind. Let's put a counter automatically on all four of your things. And what are we losing? Ah, man, really? Why couldn't you hit a land there? You did it. I think it's very dumb that it says sacrifice a mountain if you do. So. And. This is what we came here to do, right? Yeah. We came here to blow shit up. <laughs> that looked to be like a really weird, um, you know, like low to the ground reanimator deck. Could have been a budget deck. We did see a lot with Giant that was milled over. But it being an Abzan deck, probably had unburial rights, probably had a few unfair creatures in there. Um, yeah, I mean, this lets us ramp like we want to. What else potentially do? So we're going to turn to Wily Goblin. Turn three Blood Sun into Lotus Field. Yeah, we're gonna keep. Hey, they bought the. Uh... Ooh. Oh. Well. So these sleeves you get when you uh, pre-buy the uh, the secret layer that just came out. So. The thing is, is um, our hand, while it is semi-quick, it's not, may not be able to beat this. We're definitely blocking. And 
I think we're just gonna cycle this. Is that permanent? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. We have to mitigate some of this damage, right? On. Oh, man. We're going to be at one. Literally, a ginger brute kills us. That's semi good to see. Oh, my God, yes. I still don't understand why he quit. He still was drawing to a ginger brute. Um, so. Whew. Closest, closest game yet, though. Wow. God. Seriously, people, don't don't quit. If you're if you're potentially that close to winning, don't quit the game. Uh, Mori, which again means probably Winota. Uh, it's like something we have to keep. Hey, look, it's the good old scry bug. Scry to the bottom. Two, three. They're just going to... I guess we're just going to play that. Oh, my God. That was the best draw we could have made right there. And this doesn't... This does not look like a Winota deck. I don't know what the hell this person's playing. Hit their land. So I think our best draw here is that we have two two draws, either Wily Goblin or or a Star of Extinction. Rather Star. That doesn't really do us anything. So we can risk it. What this does is <clears throat> if we draw land here, we can play and we can cast Ulamog. This is, uh, basically, we're going all in here. Trying to hit that Ulamog. We're going to six, which is not good. We're I think we're st we still might be dead, though. To That might have been wrong, but yeah, I think it was wrong. 
I think it was wrong. Oh, you're gonna make you're gonna make me a tiny boy, huh? That was a really good draw, wow. Okay, so that actually just turned this game completely around. That was a really, really good draw. So, instant or sorcery spell. We cannot attack here. Let's hit that cemetery. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for me not having the lands to cast this. This is a really, really close game. Cannot attack. Could cycle this into a Lotus Field? That'd be sick. No, but that'll work. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think this is fine. <clears throat> One treasure. We'll still have seven mana next turn. Yeah, he still can't attack. Yeah, you get a you get a spider. Oh, good game. Woo! Wow. Yeah, we are, we're cruising along pretty good. I just do not like seeing Teferi um, at all. Hmm. I think we're gonna keep this. I know how bad this hand looks, but if we just, draw something crazy off the top we are we are looking good and pirate spillage is actually a pretty good draw what is this deck oh please off the top so sick So I think we, um, oh, we can get him right here, right?
Get rid of that steam vent. Mm, okay. So I think we have a card here that we can get rid of. Still wanted to get rid of that steam vent. Five. I still don't think we need... Gonna draw a card. So. Wow. This dude just went and got four Lotus Fields. Escape shifted to four Lotus Fields. What is our life right now? And you know what would be awesome? Haphazard Bombardment. Maybe he plays another Blood Sun. Well, we could potentially get back Bombardment next turn. But he has literally 12 mana right now. I did not expect Escape Shift at all. Wow. I mean, I still don't think that's good, right? We're gonna try to... Limit your mana production. That's all we can do. Good game. Wow. Can't believe we pulled that one out. I expected uh, bad things once he got all those. But we were able to kill all of his lotus fields. And that is a phrase I never thought that I would hear myself say. Alright, one more. One more game. Valen Doom. So we don't have a don't have a blood sun. May not may not need it.
Reanimator. So I think we are going to cycle. It's those unburial rights that kind of freak me out, right? Where are we heading? There we go. That's what's up. That's what we want to hit. And then we're just going to ride this Star of Extinction. So I feel like, okay, <clears throat> you swing in and then concede. Good, good game. Again, a great, great showing for uh, just being able to hit an Ulamog that, that early. Really, really good. Hey, everybody, welcome to the wrap up. And we have lived the dream on this glorious day of 1K subs. Uh, we went, uh, we took it into the, the into the 10 game gauntlet. We spouted off all 10 wins. Um, again, a lot of times our opponents conceded really early on because we were able to gain control, just grab it from their hand and never look back. Um, so there were a lot of concessions. Um, and then we just had some games where we got really lucky. Um, <clears throat> but you know, again, sometimes, uh, you know, as part of a game that's based on randomness with shuffling, um, and sometimes not having control over what you do, um, you do have to rely on luck. And we relied on it a little bit and it paid off. So um, yeah, so this is amazing. Um, this deck is really fun. Um, Big Red is, you know, a lot of people uh, beat up on playing Mono Red, but that's like Mono Red Aggro or Burn because it's just kind of mindless. You don't, you don't try to interact with your opponent. You literally just play your cards, point them at your opponent's face, um, you know, mindlessly, and then just just try to end the game as quickly as possible but with with uh decks you know like a big red deck um where you are you're wanting to interact with your opponent like you need to interact with your opponent to actually win um <clears throat> it's a lot more fun i feel like it's a lot more uh enjoyable it's a lot more uh rewarding in order to do that but um i really did like the inclusions of the first eruption um, as we saw, we kind of misread the card um, earlier where it said um, sacrifice a mountain if you do the first eruption deals three damage. So I kind of read this as being a option um, where I didn't have to sacrifice a mountain. That kind of I feel like that might have bit us once. Um, but then I just feel like even in full control, maybe um, maybe it does or I don't know. Maybe you don't have to. Um, so but yeah, I really like that addition. Uh, I did like the additions of uh, Yadaro or Godzilla, um, whichever, whatever you want to call them, Doom Inevitable. But um, but yeah, the, um, this deck is still putting together really good results. Um, Karn, Scion, and Urza was awesome. Um, so I think right now the only thing I would probably change is the Arch of Raskas. I don't think you need them. I think, uh, again, in this deck with Blood Sun, um, you know, again, it's a Nambo. You don't really need it. But the... Only other card that I might consider adding to this deck would be Shadow Spear. I feel like in <clears throat> I feel like in historic, we're running into a lot of um, in general Winota, um, you know, creatures that have hex proof, whether it be um, Paradise Druid. We might see some, you know, the big uh, hex proof dinos, um, just. Anything like that, Nullhide Ferrix, just um, this being able to make creatures lose Hexproof or lose Indestructible. Um, and again, with um, with Winota, not only does this hit Paradise Druid, but this uh, this hits their 1-1 their one, one Vampire as well. So uh, the Adanto Vanguard. 
so yeah, so this is a card I would definitely consider playing, maybe dropping down to um, maybe two eruptions or maybe just honestly dropping down to three bombardments or two Godzillas. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to leave the deck like this. Um, you know, if you have the cards to play this build, give it a try. Again, it's super fun um, and you hopefully will enjoy it. So, uh, but yeah. But everybody, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so much for getting us to uh, to 1,000. And now 1,000 and beyond, we're already over 1,100, which is amazing. And again, look out for that, uh, that giveaway. That's going to happen hopefully in the, next, in the next week when everything comes in. And then um, once that happens, um, I hope uh, you guys are going to enjoy what we're giving away. I, I feel like we got some pretty cool stuff. So, all right. Well, with that, with that being said, finally, guys, uh, thanks again. Um, keep staying safe. There's a lot of rioting and stuff going on in the country, you know, um, and, and I don't care if, and I don't, you know, I really don't care if some of you guys unfollow me for this, but this is something that needs to be said, you know, um, black lives matter. Um, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we are all people, everybody deserves the, the same, the same treatment, the same rights, um, the same everything. Um, so, you know, if you have a problem with that, I'm sorry, you're, you're not, you're not for my channel. Um, but that is, you know, that's just the reality of it. We, we need it. Um, so I stand, I stand with all my, all my friends. Um, you know, don't want to make this too crazy political, but I mean, again, it needs to be said every, um, Every single person needs to be on that side or we're just not going to get better as a human race. I'm sorry. So, but, uh, please, if you're going to go out there and protest, please be safe. Um, please don't do anything crazy. Um, you know, I can't, can't stress that enough. So, um, but yeah, again, just, just stay safe guys. You know, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Y'all have an amazing day.